What if we could centralize our second brain in Notion? In this video, I will go through the way I use Notion as my second brain to capture information from the internet, categorize it, and then implement the concept of the topic forest that I first discovered through Valentin Paris and Ali Abdal a couple of years ago to show that content filtered by the tag or the topic it is about so that I can have a central place where I can store all the most essential content that I consume and that I find valuable in my life. And then I can refer back to it at any time, also based on the category. Let's jump right into it in Notion. This is the resonance calendar and it's the master database where I capture all the information that resonates with me the most or that teaches me something from the internet mostly and the idea of the resonance calendar as a name is from Ali Abdal and I first discovered this two and a half years ago and since then I've been using this database in Notion to capture, store, manage and retrieve all the most essential information that I come across whenever I'm browsing the internet or consuming content and you can see that this is the master database and there are multiple views in here and the idea is that by using the grouping function in Notion we can create a topics forest directly as a database view or we can also create a topics forest instead in the original way as I first discovered it from Valentin Paris which is a page where you create sub pages for every main category of content that you want to see in the topics forest but here for example if i go to the topics table this table groups my content in the resonance calendar by category or tag and you can see that each tag is a toggle that i can expand to see all the content that contains that tag hence that categorization and so from here i can have a bird's eye view of all the content that i have how much content i have for every tag and if I need to search for a specific category of content that I need to retrieve or research I can just come here open toggle and I will see all the relevant content that I need to retrieve and for each content there is some metadata that I keep track of like the author as well as novelty if it's useful for a project that I'm working on if it's something I want to write about or if it's a weekly highlight and then there is the URL to the content itself and so that's let's say a simplified idea of a topics forest and every time you add a new tag to this database then that tag will be displayed as a toggle in this view the only potential downside of this view is that it can become quite long if you have many categories as part of your second brain, as Tiago Forte would call it. And so we might use this kind of topics forest instead as a way to have a broader view of all the topics or the most important topics that you have in your resonance calendar or in your reading list or in your second brain system, broadly speaking. But this time, there is a bit more friction in the creation of every page. So the topics forest here, as inspired by Valentin Paris, is a page and it contains sub pages that I created manually, where whenever you open one of those sub pages, you have all the resonance calendar content filtered based on the tag or the category for that page. And so from here, it is easier to navigate all the main topics that you care about and whenever you want to create a new page because you have created a new category you can just come here duplicate one of the existing pages and then change the filter accordingly so that's the power of linked databases filters the grouping function in notion and that's how you can store information in notion in one place or more precisely that's how I do it and not necessarily the only way to do it but a way to do it in Notion.
centralized information in a master database, that's your second brain, and then using filters, groupings, or linked databases to contextualize that information in different parts of the system so that you can retrieve, manage, store, refer back to the key learnings that you have gathered in your life and keep being inspired. Thank you for watching and see you soon.